Okay guys, so I've just filmed a quick workout video. This is something that I've been asked to do quite a bit by some of my clients and stuff as well. Um, I know some of the workouts, the cardio ones and so on are quite long, but this is one that you can mix in with the other workouts like the plyo, etc. Um, we, you can do it either before or after your training as well. I quite often do it with my personal training clients as like a, well, not just a warm up, but a cardio blast. Like I've just done it now, I'm still out of breath. We did our weights first today um, <clears throat> and then just did this at the end. So basically it's what I call a cardio countdown. You do four exercises, you do 10 reps of each and then you continually go. Then you do nine reps of each, then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then you're done. So the idea is you try and do it as quick as you can, but with good form and safely. So don't rush the press ups too much unless you're strong enough. If you struggle, Doing the legs elevated press ups with your feet on the bench or step, whatever you're using, that's fine. Do it with your hands on the step, that makes it easier, or just with your hands on the floor, that's intermediate. And if you really struggle with your knees on the floor, <clears throat> then we did, so basically the four exercises that we did are step jump burpees, um, legs elevated press ups, but like I said, you can do the different variations I just said. Step jump squats, and then agility step, which is where you're just tapping the step light on your feet, so don't put any weight on the step, you're just tapping it. Uh, so it gets your calves and uses your core quite a bit because you're having to balance as well. Um, the idea, like I say, is you do it however quick you can. I mean, it's not, even if you're relatively unfit, you can do it in just over, you know, 10. It shouldn't take more than 15 minutes, basically, because you want to finish. It should be more like a sprint. Some of the other workouts have recovery exercises in and so on. This one doesn't. Uh, so the idea, I find anyway, the hardest rounds are probably when you're on the eight, seven rep range, because you get almost, you're pretty much halfway through when you've done the third round. Um, and then as you get towards the end, the most exhausting bit is obviously getting up and down transition between each exercise. I think I did it in about, and again, like I wasn't rushing too much, but it was still, it was not easy. I always say this to people, don't think that I am, because I'm fit or whatever, that I'm going to go, oh, that was a breeze. It wasn't, it should always be hard for you. So if you do it in 15 minutes, it should be hard for you. If it's easy for you at the end, then you've not pushed hard enough and you can do it quicker. I did it in six minutes, 10 seconds, I think it was. And at the end, you know, I was out of breath. It was like a sprint, but it's just a nice little cardio burst to do. Or if you've not got time to work out in the day or you're struggling, just doing something like this once a day. Like I say, it took me six minutes, 10 seconds. I've got a massive sweat on just from doing it. Um, and, you know, it's a really good cardio blast. So give it a try. And I'll be doing some more in the coming weeks that this one you only need a step for. I'll be doing some that you don't need any equipment at all for. And then some with different equipment as well. So enjoy, guys.